It might not be easy, but it'll be worth it. Hey guys, it's Marissa from Pittsburgh Fit, and today's nutrition tip is going to be about food companies. So every big food company or any product that makes food, they have a huge marketing team. So marketing team. So a lot of the stuff they put on the labels is to get you to buy it or to get you to think it's healthy when it's really not. So just because something says organic or fat-free or it says it's super healthy doesn't mean it's healthy. So really pay attention to the things you're buying. Look at what's in them. Look at the nutrition facts and kind of go from there. Hey friends, this is Coach Eric from Pittsburgh Fit with your PF Go workout for today. So guys, for our first part of our warm up, we're going to start off with two rounds of a 200 meter run, 10 PVC good mornings, and 10 step ups. So for a 200 meter run, we're looking for about one minute of a moderate effort. So if you're at the gym or if you're at home, you can run 200 meters. Or if you're at home and you don't want to run, or you're here and you don't want to run, you can jump on a bike, a row, or you can do some up downs or burpees, whatever floats your boat, whatever gets your heart rate going a little bit um, for about one minute. After that, you're going to grab a PVC. You can also do this without a PVC um, by putting your hands behind your head or on your on your hips. But we're going to do some good morning. So She's not locked down her legs, and she's going to push her hips back towards the wall behind her. So you should feel a strike in your hands as you do this. Now notice this movement is going to look a little bit different for everybody. Everyone has a little bit different flexibility in their hamstrings, so just be aware of that. Stay in your own lane when you're in the, um, class today, and just whatever you feel, stretch your hamstrings, pop right back up. After that, you're going to come on up to the box. for 10 total, not each leg. After that, you're going to go through that one more time, then we're going to move on to the next part of our warm-up. We have Russian step-up, PVC pass-throughs, and then some deadlifts. So, for Russian step-ups, you're going to place one foot on the box, that one's going to stay there for all 10 reps. Then the other one's going to drive up, and then come right back down. What we're looking for is fast on the way up, slow on the way back down, so you're um, working on control throughout the whole Hard here. Just we're just trying to warm up the shoulders, get a little bit of a stretch. If you don't have a PVC, you can do arm circles forwards and backwards. That would be an option for you at home if you don't have a PVC to use. After that, you're going to grab an empty barbell, light dumbbells, or kettlebell for ten deadlifts. So. Similar to the good morning, you hinge at the hips, get that stretch in the um, hamstring, and then just get the rest of the way down to that main shin position. You're going to have to bend your knees a little bit. Place a dumbbell on your hips, but 
know that that is optional, okay? After we do that, we're gonna move on to our workout. So our workout for today, it's two pieces, so bear with me for a second. The first part is two rounds for time. 15 deadlifts, 20 box jumps, and 20 pull-ups. So, you're gonna do that, you have two rounds of that for time, and if you don't finish it, you have a seven minute cap. After you finish those two rounds, you're immediately going to go into, or excuse me, after that seven minutes, you're immediately going to go into a five minute arm wrap. So, you're going to do 15 deadlifts, then you're going to do 20 box jumps, and then 20 pull ups, and we'll show you those in just a moment. But what we're looking for here is to get that done in under seven minutes. If you finish it, let's say you finish it in five, that means you have two minutes to rest before you get into your arm wrap. So, Deadlifts, what we're looking for is touch and go. Deadlifts, you're probably going to do these 15 in one or two sets. Just like, um, you should look very similar to the um, deadlifts that we did in the strength piece. After that, you're going to set the weight down and you're going to come over to the box. You're going to do 20 box jumps. So, we start in almost like a deadlift position. We jump up, land in a power position with our knees slightly bent. Step down. So make sure you're really fatiguing the legs today, so please make sure you do step down off that box to make sure you don't fall or anything like that. After you do your 20 box jumps, you're going to do 20 pull ups. Now, if you don't have a pull up bar to do pull ups, a scaling option would be that you're going to have your abdominals in at the hips. You're going to pull just below your chest, just like so. You're going to do this for 20 instead. I want you to make this a challenging weight that you're going to have to break up two or three times because chances are that's what you have to do when you're doing pull-ups. So, make sure you're using a challenging weight. Like I said, you should have to do the 20 bent over rows of two or maybe three sets. So, you just do the two reps for time. Now, we're going into our five minute arm wrap. This is as many reps as possible in five minutes. You're going to do five, pull sorry, five deadlifts, five box jump overs, and then five pull-ups. So, the deadlifts, we're going a little bit heavier on the deadlifts. These should still be five unbroken deadlifts. Then you're going to do five box jump overs and five pull-ups. The box jump overs, we're looking to jump up onto the box. When you turn on the box, step down backwards, and then jump back up. Okay, that's one way to do a box jump over, or you can do it laterally. So you can face one direction. There you go. Um, you can do it that way, or if you really want to be fancy, you can jump all the way over the box, but I'm not going to ask the rest of the gym that today. Plenty of options there. So, after you do your box jump motors, you're going to do your five pull-ups. You can do pull-ups or bent over rows, or if you want to be a little extra fancy, you can do chest to bar pull-ups when you get your chest all the way up to the bar. If you're doing bent over rows, I'd like you to try and go a little bit heavier this round, um, just like you did with the deadlifts. All right, guys, two rounds for time, immediately into five minute AMRAP. Have fun, guys. It's going to be a good day. Let us know how heavy you get with the deadlifts. Have fun. Have a good workout. <laughs>